Tap the Sap, day 32, 26th of March, 2023. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we live in a generation where all the impossibilities is made possible. Now, humankind can do anything and now the new addition to the world is the AI, artificial intelligence. With the apps like ChatGPT and others, we know what kind of work we are able to do. But let me tell you, we are making the impossible into possible, but we are also turning the possible into impossible. The Lord is enshrined in our hearts. His peace, His love is imbibed in us, is already in us, is already in us. Yet, to live in peace, to live in happiness is becoming impossible in the world today. Henceforth, despair, disheartened people walking around on the roads like living dead. Today the Lord is speaking to us, to our generation. I am going to restore you, give you new life. If you think that your life is like a grave or like a dry bone, I am going to breathe life again into your lives. The Lord is speaking. And even in the second reading of today, Romans chapter 8, the Lord says that we are not people of the body. We are not mortals. We are immortals. Our spirit is immortal. Henceforth, focus should not be much on the mortal, but on the immortal, on the light, on the grace of Christ in us. And coming to the gospel of today, a beautiful passage where we see the miracle of raising a dead to life. Lazarus, friend of Jesus. Once a person dies, the blood clots, the organs fail. And then slowly the process of decomposing starts. The body starts stinking. And it was already four days since his death. Means the whole procedure has already begun and the body is already decomposing. Such a decomposed body comes back to life. That's the power of the Lord. Henceforth, the Lord is speaking to us today saying, don't give up hope on anybody. Don't give up hope on any situation. If a decomposed body can come back to life, how much more can my situations come back to life? No one is out of hand for God. No situation is impossible for Him. On our side, we are supposed to keep faith like Martha and Mary, who stood strong in faith, who spoke to Jesus and said, We believe that you are resurrection and life. Sap of today is faith and trust in the Lord. Complete faith. And a small tip for each one of us. Sit and question yourself. What is my belief? What is my belief? And then ask your situations. Is my situations affecting my belief? Or is my belief affecting my situations? Are you getting me? First, ask the question. What is my belief? Second, ask your situations that whether they are affected by your belief or whether they are affecting your belief. Amen.